Okay, so welcome to the video. I'm back to the kitchen. I got uh, really happy today because I got some positive feedback from the last video I did on the 2021 goals with two new subscribers. So I have a lot of energy. So I'm also going to go back to kind of doing more air fryer videos, I think, because it's very fast and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some grouper. It's kind of a white fish. So oops. basically I'm going to have like salad tomato, bell peppers, and then just the fish on the side. I was actually planning to have like cottage cheese, uh, but I forgot to buy it actually. But first we're gonna do kind of like the marinade. So we're gonna have one egg actually. And then we're gonna have some vinegar, some Greek yogurt, and then a bunch of spices here. So like chili, paprika, onion, and then we're gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna dip the uh, grouper in starch and flour basically. And then we're gonna put it in the air fryer. I think it's only gonna be like 10 minutes. So hopefully I'm done here in 20 minutes and can eat because I'm very hungry. I went for a two hour hike and I've gotten 12,000 steps in with just a small breakfast. So I am starving. So let's get started. So it's actually New Year's Eve today and I've been working, but then I went for a hike and it's quite late in the day actually. It's like 4.30 now. So this might actually be my New Year's Eve dinner, who knows? So at least I'm saving some calories and space for later if things change. But first we get some energy in. So as you see, the fish is actually quite big. It's too big for this bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some kind of sauce here. And then I'm actually gonna put the fish, I think, inside this bigger bowl here. And then kind of uh, pour the sauce on top of it. It's not gonna be perfect, but I don't have a bigger one, so gotta be creative in the kitchen. So let's first crack this egg here. Do a whole egg. Very unusual for me to eat the whole egg with the yolk. But then we're gonna add in some low fat Greek yogurt here that I had leftovers. Always have to check, of course, the weight. So maybe add in like something like this. Most of this will kind of go away because you have to put the um, fish inside it anyway and it's gonna drip off so it's hard to keep everything. I realize now of course that what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put it in this. I'm gonna put it in one of those kind of Ikea plastic bags and wrap it around so I forgot about that. Okay then I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of this vinegar here like 10 grams or something. 17 maybe too much but okay. Then we're basically just gonna go crazy with the spices. So I don't know, a bit of onion, a bit of garlic powder here, and a bit of Cajun Creole spices. Then we're gonna have some white pepper. Oops, maybe a bit too much. That's okay. Then some paprika, and then some cayenne pepper so spicy but that's how i like it so now i'm gonna mix this up and then i'm gonna put the fish inside this bag here to get the spices around so let's start by mixing it up nice now we get this one fixed up now we're gonna do the powdery part to make it crispy on the outside but before we do the crisp part i'm actually gonna pour in the sauce here and this one and put in the fish it's not gonna be that pretty i guess but Hard to get all the sauce there, but this does the job. Okay, let's put the fish in. Okay, so I don't actually know how much fish I have here, but I put this one here, so I'm just gonna add in the fish and then we can see the weight after. I think the fish has gotten a bit dry here, but 91 grams, 95, and then we have this one. 191, I think. Yeah, 191, so basically almost 200 grams. Nice. Okay, let's seal it up. Basically just make sure that it's evenly sort of distributed here. Get the covers. It's still actually frozen, this fish. So I hope hope it will be enough in the freezer or the, in the air fryer <laughs> to unfreeze them. Uh, but I'm actually a bit skeptical. Let's see, I guess we'll find out very soon. Basically now we're just gonna add in some corn starch and some flour. And most of this won't be eaten anyway, so. 40 grams of cornstarch. We can add in the flour, I think, basically double the amount or something like that. Okay, 60, I think we don't need more actually. I'm just gonna mix these two together. Okay, something like that. I'm gonna try to dip the fish into this, this part here. We'll see how that works out. It's a bit tricky. The tricky part is to make sure it actually stays on, but yeah, it's definitely still frozen. Okay, that's one. Take a turn. This 
one back here. Okay, uh, this one in here again. Oh, it's gonna try to mix them around a bit. Okay, now we're gonna do a second round here. Okay, so we have this kind of mess here now, but at least I think it's ready to put in. So we're gonna spray a bit of oil on it so it doesn't get too dry. And then we're gonna see if 10 minutes is enough or if we have to do like two rounds. Let's find out. So I'm gonna take this out here. I'm gonna put in some wrapper on the bottom here so it doesn't get too messy. I think I'm gonna have some aluminum foil actually. Okay, so we got this prepared nicely. Let's put in the fish. Actually, I'm gonna spray it with a bit of olive oil here before I put it in here on the one side. Okay, nice, so it doesn't get burned. We have a little bit of that. One, two. I'm gonna flip them and spray on the other side. Okay, so let's spray a bit. Definitely more than I normally use, but I don't want it to be burned. Okay, let's put it in and see if we can get this to start. It has a mode that says frozen fries, and then we have fish here, but I assume that means it's not frozen, so I'm actually gonna go with this frozen one. See, maybe that's a complete failure, but I think that's probably gonna work better since it's frozen. Let's try. Okay, so while that one is working, I'm gonna add in the tomatoes and the mixed salad and a bit of bell peppers here on the side. And we'll see, it's gonna be 200 grams. So a lot of fish, but still not that much. So I'm gonna have a lot of salad and maybe a sandwich on the side. The good thing with salad is it's a lot of volume, but basically no calories. So I'm gonna go a bit crazy with this. For everything that's not fish. A little bit of space for fish here, but that's basically it. 97 grams. Then a bit of a tomatoes. I'm not gonna cut them up for once. Just leave them as they are. Otherwise it's gonna be like running sort of juice everywhere here. Nice. Maybe tomorrow we'll cut them up and mix with some cottage cheese instead. Mountain of that. Like 112 grams. I think I will actually skip the sandwich. I'm gonna put in a little bit of these croutons I have and steer on, side, uh, on the top, and then maybe add in a bit of uh, balsamic vinegar later. This is not the healthiest, but just a little bit of sprinkle like that. Looking good. Okay, let's take out the fish and see how we're doing with that. Hope it's not burned. Okay, quite nice. I think I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of olive oil to make sure we don't get too much of this sort of dry part here. And then flip them around. Okay, let's flip them around without breaking up. Might be a bit tricky, let's see if I can make it. Okay, I'm definitely not a professional turning them around. I think I could have a bit more oil. I could have had more sort of crumbles here for sure, but it's hard to make it stick. But I'm sure it's gonna be good anyway. Let's put it in and 10 minutes would definitely not be enough. It looks like it needs some more crispiness on top. So 20 is probably pretty good. 10 more to go, then we're done. Okay, so we got four minutes to go. Let's see what it looks like. Mm, wow, that is starting to look very juicy and nice. Nice, let's give it a few more minutes. Definitely starting to look ready. Okay, so it's beeping. That means it's done and it means it's soon eating time. Let's grab this guy out. Let's put them here on the plate. See if I can do it without breaking it. That seems unlikely, but... Ooh, almost. Yeah, a bit hard to get out. Okay, so I think that's basically it. Let's take it out to the living room. Let's try it out. Now we're just gonna add on some salt and some pepper and then a bit of balsamic vinegar and then we're ready to go. Okay, so let's dig in. That definitely looks amazing. This smells really nice. I'm gonna try this one first, a bit crispy. Wow. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. We'll have some salad here. Healthy. 
could do a bit more crisp, I guess, on the outside. Maybe sort of flip it a few more times in the flour and the starch, but nice. Definitely worth trying. White fish is so good. Basically no fat. Some pep bell peppers here as well. Mm. Haven't had that in a while. Nice. Fish, of course, is the highlight. But it's good to combine it with other healthy things. Highly recommend it. A lot of good stuff you can do in the air frying. Goes well with the balsamic vinegar as well. A lot of vegetables to make you full but almost no calories. So I think there's a lot of stuff you can do in the air fryer if you don't have so much space like like me. You can just mix it up, have you know, fish, chicken. I haven't tried meat, but I'm sure you can do a lot of things like shrimp, seafood. I personally really, really like this crispy way of doing it. So probably gonna do more of that. It takes a little bit more time, but definitely worth it. Wow, this is good stuff. You could probably eat like three of these fish. That's why it's good to have all this salad to get the big volume. So this meal is definitely very low in calories because there's basically no carbs and very limited fat. Of course I had to spray the fish a bit so maybe it was like 10 grams of oil but that's about it. The balsamic vinegar that I added on top has some calories maybe got like 20-30 calories from that but otherwise basically we have the croutons here but also 10 grams is like maybe 40 calories. So a good tip is to fill up your plate with a lot of vegetables bell peppers so we have the salad is basically sort of free calories you can eat almost like a limited amount so i think all of this salad maybe is like 50 calories so i'm gonna wrap this up now if you like it give it a like subscribe give me a comment if you have something to say otherwise i'm gonna enjoy the last pieces of this and the last hours of 2020 look forward to see you in 2021 and until then happy new year